Welcome, I'm Ernie Goss, professor of economics here at the Hyder School of Business at Creighton University in beautiful downtown Omaha, Nebraska. Here I am on the first business day of the month, as always, uh, reporting on our May survey results for the nine state mid-American region. Now that's the nine states stretching from North Dakota and Minnesota in the north to Oklahoma and Arkansas in the south what I'd call, what we call the Mid-America region again. Now what is, uh, what is, what do these supply managers, what did they tell us for the month of May? The number weakened a bit, went, came from 52.7, which is in April, and that's not a strong number. Again, the index stretches from zero to 100, 50 above 50 is growth uh, positive. Now the number was at 50.4. Now pardon my laughing, but that's, it's no laughing matter. The economy is weakening and the U.S. economy is weakening. And you saw last uh, Friday, the uh, U.S. Uh, Bureau of Economic Analysis released again, a revised quarter one number, negative for the U.S. economy. It's coming in, uh, not negative for the Mid-America region, but it's close to negative. Now, the, uh, the hiring, uh, we're seeing that moved lower from 49.2 in April to 48.3. And obviously those, both numbers are not, are negative, meaning below growth neutral. Now here you'll see my chart, the chart of the Mid-America against the U.S. You see they're both moving, moving lower, moving lower. The U.S. number will be released a bit uh, I mean, later on this morning and watch that number. I, I think it could come move below growth neutral. That would be a huge negative signal for the equity markets, a real positive signal for the bond markets. In other words, investors would rush in, buy bonds, driving up the price and the yields down, but probably away from equities, the stock market. Now, other factors in the May report. Inflationary pressure is up from 55.5 to 69.1. That's the highest inflation index we've tracked in about a year. So inflationary pressures are moving up, up, up. Now, not still not into a danger zone, but it does push the Fed, is going to push the Fed to begin raising rates. I think they're behind the curve already. Should have begun raising rates already, but they haven't. I, I, don't, uh, I don't get a vote on that one. That's the open market committee. But if I were there, I'd be raising rates. Would have been doing it already. Um, growth in, uh, in prices, uh, input prices, 3.8%. So we asked the purchasing managers, supply managers, how much they expect over the next year for their uh, products and services to rise by. That's the ones they buy, 3.8%. Uh, confidence moved from 61.5 to 58.3. Still pretty strong confidence. I don't know where the supply managers are getting their confidence. I'm a little less confident right now, meaning I think growth is going to slow. It's not going to be, it's not going to match the Fed's uh, goal. It's not going to match the Fed's expectations. Export number came down from 53.5 to 50.0 and that's where I think a lot of it is. The stronger dollar bringing down exports, making U.S. goods less competitively priced abroad and that's particularly the case with agriculture and energy. The import number was a week uh, we moved from 46.8 to 48.8. Now why is that the case? You'd expect that number to be stronger. It's just simply because our economy is weak. Uh, it's, it's weak growth, so we're not purchasing much, as much. So all in all, it was, it was not a good report. It, it was not a horrible report. We've seen a lot worse back in the old, bad old days of the recession. But this thing, this U.S. economy, this regional economy is weakening. Now what do you need to watch for to tell you things are getting worse or better? On June the 6th, that would be this next Friday, the wages report, not what it's called the employment report, but look for the wage number in there. If that number is year over year moving between above 2 to 3 percent toward 3, then that's just going to push the Fed to raise rates sooner than most uh, now investors expect it, most business leaders expect. Look, keep an eye on the CPI, which comes out June the 17th. Again, the inflation number, I'm starting to keep an eye on these inflation numbers because it just is going to indicate the, uh, the Fed is going to move, move to raise rates sooner than anticipated. Right now it's September. It could be that before that if we see inflation ticking up significantly. Retail trade. Now, who would have thought about that? Retail trade comes out June the 11th. That comes out from the Census Bureau. That's monthly retail trade. That number has been horrible, meaning growth, growth, but not much. The consumers 
hanging on to his or her wallet, not spending much. And of course, the consumer, that's two thirds of our economy, not buying enough. And then of course, in business investment, the other, another side of, of the GDP number, that number's been weak. So businesses and consumers, not as strong. Of course, the final, the final two elements, export uh, trade, that's weak. Government, a little stronger there. That's the final element of the four pillars of the GDP. That's been a bit stronger. What are the risk factors? Watch out for uh, long-term interest rates rising even more. They're up, 10-year treasuries up to 2.1%. If that should move higher, mortgage rate, rates would move even in tandem. Uh, Greek default, I've, I've been really concerned about that. They're defaulting on the IMF, International Monetary Fund debt. I don't think it's a risk factor, but not a large one. The larger one, of course, is the consumer just continues to save and not spend, not as confident. Well, keep an eye on the strong U.S. dollar. That tends to be a real negative for the U.S. economy in terms of exports. Also, it pushes down for this part of the country, pushes down, down agricultural commodity prices and energy prices. Both of those are important to the region. So that's it, folks. It was a I won't say it wasn't a good report, and it was an okay report. Uh, the number is just headed, it's trending downward. And uh, keep, so uh, until we meet again on July the 1st, that's the first business day of July, of course, and uh, we'll, I'll re be reporting on the uh, June survey results. Until then, between now and then, may your economic cup runneth over, and thank you.